Good day, guys. Being here. Um, so this uh, today, uh, no, this morning. Uh, let's quickly uh, try try this one. Okay, so um, it's a it's it's quite a simple uh, concept. So it's a bit hard to see from this uh, image, but uh, so it's basically it's a, 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 a mess, and then so that's one profile. So on this side, and then twist, and then uh, on the other side. So okay, so let's do it. Uh, I'm going to start with uh, conceptual mass. Okay, so um, okay, so basically we can just model this as uh, a, a a mass, a form or surface with um, a, a, a path and with some uh, maybe one, two, three, three profiles. Okay, so um, okay for the path, um, maybe we can just use a, a half circle, so something like that. Right, so first I'll just pick this uh, um, reference plan, just a vertical. Right, so so now we can just draw a um, start and arc, start and radius arc. Yeah, so just start, start from here to here. So roughly, okay. So we have this uh, pro, uh, sorry path. Right, so and then we can just place a point. So just draw on face onto this. Um, this uh, path, okay, and then we can just draw a, a place a, a, a profile. So let's just use a another star and uh, radius arc. Use draw on, and uh, draw on word plan. Set word plan. Pick this word plan, and then we can just uh, draw something like this, right? Uh, uh, maybe you can increase the radius or you know move it down. So okay, so select this one. Uh, this path and together with this point, I'll just copy CC and pick new host and place another one here. So we will need another one in the middle. Okay, so I'll just CC again, select it, pick new host. So for now, because they are all exactly the same, so if I select one, two, three together with this path, uh, we will create just this shape, right? So now if I dra drag this down, drag this down, um, you'll see, okay, so of course it's not like this um that's fine so we can let's just you know maybe i'll just uh i can just try to select yeah select this so we can adjust the size of this right so and then move this uh move this and we can also do this drag this to increase size um and uh we need what we need to do is we need to rotate one profile and then also change the radius. So um, maybe uh, let's just uh, for the middle one. So let's try to select this. Ah, oh, it won't let me. Okay, so for this one, I'm going to change this one to make it more like flat and vertical. So to do this, I think we need to uh, yeah here so. So in a old version of Revit, it's here. So this option keep uh, concentric. Okay, so untick this one. So which means you can change the radius of that. So we can just make it, you know, very almost yeah flat. It's flat, right? So and also we can just reduce the uh, width. Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, yeah, the width. And then also you can rotate, rotate. Uh, oh, hang on. No, no. Let me. R O. Okay, so maybe we should just set word plan first. So I'm going to set word plan onto this point and then try to rotate this profile. So I'm going, oh, hell, R O. Uh, something's not right. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's have a look. Uh, oh, yes. It's probably because when I press R O, it automatically picks the same point of. Oh yeah, so see here, same point is arc, so which is very far, far away. So we just need to press a uh, space to place the center of rotation roughly here, so we can just rotate this properly, right? So ninety degree. Okay, so we halfway there, and then we just need to you know m rotate this one. So I'm going to just uh, make some, just make it like a more like a, oh hell, maybe we can just direct uh, directly. Uh, uh, 
we can just uh, rotate this profile now. Let me try to select it first. Uh, o, rotate, right? So that's okay. Maybe I'll just uh, pre press a uh, space bar to place the center point. Oh, sorry, the center of a ro rotation roughly here. So we can just rotate this by a slightly like, oh, yeah, I think that's, that's close. And then we can just select this profile again. And so now we can just, uh, um, I think that we need to untick this one and then so we can just adjust this to the other so that make this you know arc uh, yeah so the other direction right so otherwise it will just if I uh, press ctrl z so I'll show you if we have this one by default it's a tick, always ticked and then you will see you won't be able to you know change the um, the the uh, the center of this uh, uh, arc, right? So it will always only change the radius of this arc. But if you untick this one, so you will be able to just, uh, yeah, flip this arc to the other side. Okay, so I think this is uh, very close to this one. So just, and then you just need to tweak this. So you, for example, you can adjust, you can adjust, ah, oh, this is the, actually you can, because it's keeping the center point on this flat so it's always a half circle so what you can do is untick that one again so you can you know adjust this so you can keep the point on this point and on the f on the on the ground <laughs> and then adjust the height of this right so and then you can also like uh, uh, adjust where where you want to stop here so you can lift this up or down right and then you can also, um, I think you can, you can uh, increase the size of this. Just do it slowly because some, at some point it will it will break uh, break this. Uh, uh, so you can see it twist. If this it twists too much, it will break this. So let, let's just try a R, R O. I'll just rotate this one to this side. Yeah. So it's still working. Maybe you can just you know, uh, uh, maybe you can also. Yeah, so you can see you can still do this, All right? So it's yeah, just to do it uh, just um, like step by step, not try to uh, achieve this like uh, in one um, in one go. So just uh, yeah, so have a have different you know, and uh, and always if you want to change the shape of this. Uh, curve you just need to untick that one so you can right so yeah I think this is it and then eventually uh, eventually you will get something like 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 this right <laughs> okay so very simple exercise and also um, if you want to have those patterns for example this one so they are very simple you can just select it create a device surface give them a lot of uh, just uh, yeah increase the number of these and then you can just uh, create a new uh, pattern based family um, let's just quickly do it uh, pattern based family so basically just so as you can see there you, you can have frame, uh, all this frame but I'll just skip that part I'll just create a, a just a surface okay oh, oh, we don't really need thickness so just that so you can give you know in, in um, instance parameter so uh, material parameters so you can change them like uh, uh, you give them different for you know each panel load this one back go down menu go pick this uh, family two we just did um, and this will take some time depending on the number you have right so current is 40 by 40 uh, 1600 right so that will yeah if your computer is as you know same as mine so it will take some time so to generate all those panels and if you add frames again it will you know uh, 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 increase the, the time it, it will need okay so and yeah so this is it and then so for each one so for example if I tab select so for each one you can give different materials you can also uh, so for example I'll just give it a default material so we'll see uh, uh, same <laughs> Uh, same color so maybe same color as that uh, 
default material in object st style. So maybe I'll just give it a ground. At least, yeah, slightly different. Right? So you can also select it because uh, you can SA select all. So you can then change all the material to one material. And then, so you can also play with, uh, with uh, Dynamo if you want to, to give uh, random. And if you don't, if you want to create some opening here, so you, I think you can try to delete. Uh, yeah, so select the panel and you can just delete um, DE. Okay, so that's all for today. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. I will see you next time. Thank you. Bye.